Hello everyone. This video is a short description about how the AES encryption and decryption works. Basically, AES consists of a message that is 128 bits long and a key that encrypts the message. The key can be 128, 192 or 256 bits long. First of all, the message is copied into a 4 into 4 square matrix that is known as a state. The state matrix is then modified in each step of encryption and decryption. The key is similar to message is copied into a separate 4 into 4 matrix and that key is expanded into words. The expanded keys are then used while encrypting and decrypting the message. Ordering of the message within a matrix is by column. That is, first 4 bytes of 128 bit occupy the first column of the matrix. The cipher also consists of n rounds, where n depends on the key length, that is 10 rounds for 128 bit encryption, 12 for 192, and 14 for 256 bit. The first n minus 1 round consists of 4 distinct transformations, that is, sub bytes, shift rows, mix column, and add round key. The final round skips the mix columns. There is also a single add round key before the first round. The key that is used for the encryption and decryption are first expanded. The same expanded key is used for both encryption and decryption. First the key is copied into a 4 into 4 matrix and then expanded. The expansion consists of 3 steps for the first column. Rotation of word and a substitution byte and adding the round constant. The remaining column only uses XOR with the newly generated word and the next column word in the previous matrix. Rotation word performs a 1 byte circular left shift of the fourth column. The sub byte uses substitution from the S box. The add round constant XORs the output of the sub bytes with the first column word and the round constant. The round constant is a predefined set of constants for each round. Listed here are 10 round constants for 128-bit encryption. The four transformations. Subbytes. Subbytes use the substitution from the S-box and inverse S-box during encryption and decryption. The shift row shifts the second row by a byte, third row by two bytes, and the fourth by three bytes. The first one is not modified. Mix columns. This uses following two 4 into 4 matrices. The first matrix is used for encryption and the second is used for decryption. Mixed columns is just matrix multiplication, but the multiplication is done over Galois field. Add round key. This is just an XR operation of the mixed column output with a new expanded round key. The key expansion for the whole encryption and decryption process are derived as follows. Suppose there is a matrix named W. So if we want to compute WI, we do the following three operations. First, rotation of word of the fourth column of the matrix. After that, substitution bytes from the S box is done. Like C and F will contribute to 8A. The C over here will contribute to rows and the F will contribute to the columns. So C and F would deliver a value 8A. Similarly, all the remaining bytes are transformed into a new value. After that, the round constant is XORed with the output. After that, the result is XORed again with the first column of the matrix. So that would result in this output. So WI would be A0, FA, FE and 17. For the next expanded word, it is just an XOR with the previously computed output and the second column of the first matrix. So this is the previously computed value and this is the second column of the previous matrix. So XORing that would give this. So this will be the WI. Similarly, all other words are computed. This figure gives a sense of how encryption is done. So first of all, we have our message over here and the original encryption key is over here. After the keys are expanded, they are used in the subsequent rounds. So before the first round, there is an XOR with the original message and the round key. After that, the result of the XOR is kept in this matrix and the subbytes operation is performed over this matrix. The subbyte uses substitution from the S box. So a 19 would give a value of T4, A0 would give E0 and similar others. After that, a shift row operation is computed with the current output. For shift rows, the first row would remain unchanged. The second row is shifted by a byte 
the third by two bytes and the fourth row by three bytes. So that would result in this matrix. After that, the mixed column operation is performed. The mixed column operation is just a matrix multiplication. So this value is multiplied with a constant that I previously saw and the result would be this. After that, the round key is added. So XORing this with this would result in this value. Similarly, all of these are computed for the n-1 rounds. For the last round, only subbytes and shift rows is performed and a round key is added. So that would result in output of this. So these are all for encryption. While decrypting, the operation would start from here. So this output is XORed with this round key. So that would deliver this output. After that, inverse shift rows is performed. Inverse shift row is just the opposite of shift rows. Where we right shifted this matrix, in inverse shift rows, we are going to left shift this matrix. So that would result in this value. After that, inverse substitution is made from the inverse S box. So the E9 over here would result in EB. The CB would result in 59. Similarly, all the processes are repeated, but in inverse fashion. After the last round, the round key is added to the output value. So that would result in again giving us the message. So this is all for this video. Thank you again for watching.